Oh my goodness, I haven't got to the good stuff yet either. This is... Public library. Oh. Oh. This is when mom got the job at the library. Why do I have this? Because you're black? Get lost. Oh, okay, let's see what else. Public school. Ah, that's my old school. Is that still there? Reading C. Sucked at reading? You should write a book. Oral language. Ew. <laughs> science E. Science. I was freaking, what grade is it? Grade four. I got an E in science. <laughs> Art, music, phys ed. Oh, I hated phys ed. Ugh. I'm gonna get me started with that. In the future, Jeffrey promises to structure his home time. Who cares? I don't know how I did wrong in science. Like how, in grade four especially, what did I do? You screwed up. Ah. Junior high school. Phys ed. <laughs> In science. Again, I did terrible in science in grade eight as well. I hated science class, man. And people I hate. Jesus! So nothing really happened in interesting these things. I'm just trying to read something that's funny or stupid. Look in a mirror. Youth bowling. Oh! Ah! Youth bowling. 1988 and 89. I was in a bowling league. Five pin. These, this year. And I hated it. You don't like anything. The only thing I liked about the bowling classes is my mom would take me to the mall. We'd walk to the mall. It was like a 20 minute walk. Walk all the way to the mall, do the bowling, and every time the bowling was over, she bought me a, an Archie comic book, Archie Digest. They had them back then. Little square books, same thing back then. I used to get buy have tons of Archie Digest. And I don't have any now, because I'm stupid and I lost every single comic book I ever had. Probably could have been worth lots of money right now. Not the Archies, but other ones. We had first issues of stuff and... What is this? I'll see if I can scan this. Looks like me in a classroom. Pointing at something. This is my boomstick! You got that?! It's from the basement of my old house when I was born and raised in for 24 years. I finally moved out when I was 24. Yeah! Wow. Who cares? What is this? Grade 3. It's sealed? It's sealed. I'm afraid to open it. Why is it sealed? Why should be a bomb? It's just it's to kill myself. <laughs> Student of the month? Here's a picture of me. Look at my dumb haircut. Ah. 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 Oh, let's go of me. Say that. I don't know how big it is, too. He flew right into your head, like he couldn't avoid it. So maybe I'll uh, keep it on for a little bit. Why not? Oh, There's probably tons of bugs crawling in there. I'm going to get lice when I'm finished, but. Yeah, I remember this. I used to have dragon statues galore around my house. My first marriage. Uh, man, I had everything. I had. This is all kind of rusty now, it's rust on it. Not sharp, just a plain old looking sword. And these ones are very budget, you could buy these. There used to be a little store in our mall that had all these cheapo dragon statues and get for like 10 bucks, 20 bucks, you know, five bucks even. And that's all I could afford back then, so I had a whole whack of these statues. Most of them are gone because I can't have statues no more, a long story. Um, but I kept this one in a box. I used to have a gigantic one that was worth like 200, 200 bucks, I think it was. I lost that. How do you lose a gigantic statue that's $200? I don't know, I'm talking to me here. Get a job, hippie! Ah, <sighs> game gear that I had my dad waste his money on for me. Yeah, oh, this is great. I never played this stupid thing. Probably cost like 100 bucks. Hey, thanks, Dad. <laughs> thanks for wasting your money for me, as you did so many times when I was a kid. You know what? You know what? Back then, okay, there was a mention of a Sega Nomad. I, think. I didn't know it was called Nomad. It was a Sega, handheld Sega Genesis, pretty much, Master System. And this is what I thought this was, I swear to God. Because it was in a magazine they were going to make one. I don't know if they ever did. So when I saw this, I was a dumb little kid, right? I didn't do any research. I saw this, I'm like, that's got to be it. That's got to be the Sega Genesis handheld. And we just bought it without even doing any investigation at all. My dad bought it for me Toys R Us, I remember. Probably cost twice as much as it should have at Toys R Us. Brought it home and I'm like, what is this? This is crap. 
Is this in a Sega Genesis? And since we were stuck with it, I kept it, but I didn't play it. Oh, look, honey! Basketball's on! One day, while Bum was sitting on his automatic flexi chair, uh, he was watching basketball. Logic would have said to return the stupid thing, get my money back, and buy something I wanted. No, I'm a dumb kid. Kept it. Only ever had two games for it. Maybe three. This is the default Sonic game it came with that sucked. And NBA Jam. And NBA Jam wasn't bad, but, you know, we didn't, I didn't write, you couldn't write games for Game Gear back then. And we only ever bought games at Christmas time, or my birthday, maybe. So that's it. We never bought any more games for it. You bum! Ah! Alien toy. I, forget, I think it's from Alien Resurrection. We probably got this, I don't know where, where I got this from, actually. Hey, either my friend Miles got it for me, or... I already had it. Or I already had it. Either got it from me or I bought it from somewhere. I have no idea where I bought this from, so I'm guessing it was a gift. Alien and Aliens are two of my favorite movies of all time. I love Aliens, James Cameron's Aliens, it's a freaking amazing movie. Alien 1 I love as well. They're both frightening movies, but different style of frightening. You know, that's why I love them both. And, and Alien 3 comes out! <laughs> Don't even get me started. It's grown on me now, and I, I accept it as a sequel, but I still don't like what they did with it. And I'm not going to go on because I'll rant for hours. Thank God for that. Jeffrey Eric Dean, best memory, when we went to the science center. What I want to be, a chemist. Why does this keep happening? Young's Jewelers. Okay. Oh, right, I remember what that game is. It's a Christmas ornament that was given to me probably by who? My grandma and grandpa Isaac. 1981, the year I was born. Shut the fuck up, old man! Hey! Freddy Krueger Claw! Oh man, we had this for so long. I didn't even think this was mine by default. I think my friend, this is Jesse's. And, uh. I didn't even think it had holes in it to start with. Can you see those holes everywhere? It like it's all chewed up. I used to chew on it. I used to be like, ah la la, and chew on it. Look at this all freaking mangled like a dog got a hole in it. No, it was me. I chewed it like a friggin' handicapped child that I was. All ruined. I ruined it by chewing on it. Look, my teeth are all like freaking around and ugly looking. I chewed on everything. I used to play this all the time. Like, and that's sad because I watched Freddy Krueger when I was a little kid. Another reason why I'm so demented. Children are not meant to watch those movies. I wouldn't even let my child watch that. Thanks, mom and dad. Oh. This. Oh, I gotta show you what this is about. So I gotta take this off. I mean, maybe I don't. So this was from Lunar. Lunar series. Started off with the Sega CD. Okay. Now when I first read about the Lunar series, and I had like Nintendo Power, Game Pro, or whatever it was at the time. Electronic Gaming Monthly, I think was another one. EGM. I used to get all those magazines and I read all about this game. And I'm like, and I was really into, starting into anime at the time. I'm like, oh, I so love to play an anime game. To me, it was a new idea, a new concept. Anime games, now they're everywhere. Um, and I kept reading about this game, like, oh, I so badly want to play it. And then I'm like, that's oh, Sega CD. I'm never going to own one of those. But then, PlayStation, I had one of those, announced, they're remaking it. I was like, oh, my God. I was, like, crapping my pants. And the minute it came out, I bought the special editions, I think for both. I don't know if they're sure the first one had a special edition, but the second one did, and I bought it. And this came with a special edition. Do you know how stupid I felt? I walked into EB Games, okay, which I think is GameStop in the US. EB Games, to pick up my special edition game, there was a line about the door for something. I don't think it was for this game, but I, I got it. The guy goes up, he goes, okay, here's your game, and here's some additional stuff for it. And he hands out to me, like this, in a big box, a puppet toy. And everyone's like, I'm like a teenager at this time, if I'm not a young adult. Okay? And he hands me this pathetic little puppet. And he's like, here you go! And I'm like, looking around at people, people standing in my face, going beat right. I'm like, oh, a puppet! Oh, thanks! And, like, and I ran out of there. And I should have been like, this is cool. 
I thought it was a doll at first. Like, like, imagine coming this out with such a, you know, people my age, young adults, and I come up with a fucking puppet. I thought it was like, the most retarded person ever. It's one of those punch dolls, you know? Oh, wait. See, it's dark. Yeah, see? <laughs> His head's busted. I don't know why. It's supposed to be wobbly head, but the springs and everything are permanently exposed. In it. This is the final boss from the first game. Hated this guy. Such a jerk. And the game is impossible, too. Freaking impossible. I bought the box set for the first one. I love this game. Um, I think it was a special edition, because I'm pretty sure the regular edition didn't come like this. It was like a hundred bucks, and then I got this one, the sequel. Um, also love this game. Oh, it was like 120 bucks. That comes with so much stuff, you know, and um, I just love the story. I love this game. I love the second one better than the first one, actually. Um, they both take place in the same world, same story arc. Um, just this one's in the past, this one's in the future, and um, I kind of forget how to tie in now. It's been so long since I played them, but um, yeah, they're both really good games. They're both very, very hard, and the graphics, you know, for the animations in that are awesome, but the character sprites in that aren't, aren't the greatest. Um, of course, these probably aren't going to be worth as much money. I even take the sticker off the back because I don't want to ruin the artwork on the back. They put a sticker on it to hang it up on the wall. I'm afraid to remove it because um, I might ruin it. But yeah, this is a great game. And um, I'll take more pictures of it afterward. And it's not going to be worth so much anymore, I don't think, because I did play it. So the discs are worn. Um, the box is worn. Um, if I left it sealed, the play would have been better. And, oh. Yeah, it comes with a little cool little book. Book's in perfect condition. I'll take some pictures of this uh, afterward. It comes with a map, which I'm not, it's a cloth map. It's an actual cloth map. And um, it's really cool. And I'm, I'm, I don't wanna touch this too much, but there's the game. Ooh, the disc is not sitting in this thing. But yeah, I'll take some actual pictures and screenshots after for everyone to see. It's like a four disc game. Um, I remember that the problem with this game that I had when I first played it was that when you go to the final boss stage, or final stage of the game, um, you couldn't leave. I didn't know that. So I went to the final stage, I did some leveling up, and I saved it there. And then I thought, okay, I'm going to go back home, but there's no exit. I'm like, what? No exit? I'm like, those can't be. I have no items, I have no way to level up, I can't beat the game, I can't go forward, I'm too weak. Nope. Once you go to the last stage, you're there forever. You're dead if you're if you're weak and no items left. I had to redo the whole game. I was furious. I even emailed um, working designs against people who made this game and replied really quick saying, Yeah, sorry man, if you're there, you can't go back. I'm like, redid the whole game, but I cheated the second time around just so I can get to the last guy and beat it. You. So hi, uh, this is me the next day, N not seven years later, and I'm going to resume where I left off. Why do I say seven years later? I mean, that'd be really stupid to wait that long. Jerk! Carol. Jerk! Carol. Jerk! Carol. Jerk! Carol. Alright, so let's look at this next. It's a, uh, oh, it's falling, it's all falling apart here. Um, the, the freshness seal has been destroyed. So, <laughs> so what this is, is the- Oh, it's head, <laughs> it's head fell off too! No! It was a dollar store toy, so... What it is, is the Kamikaze Ninja Jeff Dean Super Mega Toy that My Milo9000 put together for me a long time ago. So this is a toy Miles put together from the dollar store, I don't know why, just for fun. And I kept it in this box, but of course somehow I managed to get it ruined. And uh, I never used it once for a prop or anything just because I wanted to keep it. I wanted to keep the freshness seal, but uh, yeah, I kind of ruined that. Do you think so? What's it say in the back? Oh, there's actually text in the back. 
Choking hazard. Small parts. Not for children at all, damn it. Not to mention that this toy sucks. Poopies. What does it say? Bar... Barcode? Not a lot of fun. <laughs> okay. As seen in the crappy movie, Court... Courting Steve Hidden Miles. I think I meant crouching, but it's not saying that. Comes your least favorite action figure, Super Mega Kamikaze Jeff Dean. Complete with your super glossy karate outfit designed by the unacclaimed fashion designer, bad word, Pajami, to the budget, um, unimbued kamikaze. Okay, well, I'll put the text on the screen. You guys can read it on your own time if you want. <laughs> Alright, uh, ah. Now this is a fun thing that I... So back in the day, 1994, I remember, it was when this card game came into existence. It was a Star Trek The Next Generation card game. And it was like, uh, I don't know, like an RPG card game of sorts, sort of? I don't want to say RPG, but like a strategy game. So you had to, I mean, I'll find some footage here to show you an example of how this game works, but we used to play this game all the time when we were kids. And I remember Jesse had, like his parents, you know, spoiled him. He had purchased like, his parents purchased like two full box sets of them. And he had, like every single card imaginable, almost. Except our one friend Steve, if he watches this video, he can vouch for it. He had the entire bridge crew. So we had fun collecting all the cards and, co and colonies and everything. Um, I even scanned some of the cards and show you guys some. So I didn't really have any good cards. Even it looks like I have, I have a ton. Most of them are garbage cards. Uh, but I'll scan some of my favorite ones and show you guys. And, uh... Like, I... And out of all of them, like, I have the Enterprise C. And, uh... You know, it wasn't very powerful compared to the D, of course, but it was like... I think it was a rarer... Rarer card. A mortal Q. Um, like, I don't know which cards nowadays, if any... I think... I heard people still play this game somewhere. After all these years. And I don't know which cards are rare and not. Couldn't I wouldn't tell you. But going back to my story from before, my friend Steve, he had the entire bridge crew of the Enterprise. Like everyone. Except he didn't have the Enterprise. But then one day I go to the local comic store and buy a pack, just for the heck of it. And what do I find in the pack? I couldn't believe it. It is the Enterprise. Like, what are the chances that I happen to get this card in this pack? I'm assuming it's a rare card. I don't think... Because you couldn't find it anywhere. He had the entire bridge crew, but he didn't have this card. And this is the only card I have. I don't have any of the bridge crew. So I could have been a good friend and give this to him, but um, I didn't because it's the only good card I had. Like, I'm not sacrificing the only good card I have. Even if it means you have the entire bridge crew. Sorry, Steve. But then again, I asked him recently, do you still have your cards? And he said no. So, ha! Good thing I held on to this. You fucking asshole! Yeah. You worthless pile of shit! Yeah, Gary. Fun times. 1994 Star Trek game. Yeah, I don't think it's... I check prices on these and they aren't really worth anything, so... Because you're a nerd. Alright, now why I have this in a separate thing... Now, back in the day, for those of you that aren't old fogies like me, Super Nintendo had released a mouse and a mouse pad for, I, th I think, for mostly just one game. And they might have had other games too, but I only ever played the one game, which was Mario Paint. Sick. I still have the original mouse. It's all like browning and probably still works, but I don't have a Super Nintendo anymore to, to test that to test it. So my brother once again gave it to my nephew, which is his son, and he, he's gone forever, lost to time. 
I still have the mouse. For some reason. And the ball's still in it. And everything. And yeah. So, the old Nintendo Mario Paint mouse. That was a fun game. The old Enterprise D, speaking of Star Trek. The Enterprise D, an old... It's, like, it's just metal. Like, this is a metal model. That, of course, the hooks are broken, so it doesn't stay together anymore unless you hold it like this. So, but I would really like to find someone who could touch this up. If you guys don't know any YouTubers who do this stuff for a living, I could ship this to to for them to touch it up and re remaster it, whatever you want to call it. That would be friggin' fantastic. This actually isn't mine. This is, um, this is Jesse's. Uh, once upon a time, back in his youth, he was really hard for cash, and he was selling everything he owned for money. So I ho hoarded some of his things so he couldn't do that. Like this, in the Godzilla toy that's upstairs somewhere. So yeah. Sorry, Jess. But I don't think he cares. I mean, I still have it, just sitting in this box. It's a cool toy. I'll take some footage of this too. But I really like to find somebody who could touch this up and fix it. It's all just... Soon it's just going to be metal with no paint on it. Oh, the weight's falling apart, so... You even fix this part, too, that I can latch it on properly again. If it ever did latch on properly, like, it doesn't look like anything broke off. And I also have some miscellaneous, like, RF switches. Like, for the Super Nintendo and stuff. This isn't the official one. This is, like, a third-party one he bought after the fact. See, if you anyone who remembers having Nintendo or Super Nintendo back then, these things broke all the freaking time. You constantly had to buy replacements. They were so delicate and crap. I still have one of the third-party ones. Milk! Milk! Gives you cancer and you die! And the adapters, the plugs. These original Nintendo adapter right here. Well, this isn't really that old, I mean, in comparison to the stuff I showed you. Final Fantasy IV for the Nintendo DS. Um, it's like one of the only few games I ever bought for it. Why I bought the DS at all, I, I don't know. It was just one of those phases where I felt like I had to buy it. It's still sealed in here, sort of. Not sealed, but... Yeah, Final Fantasy IV for the DS. I guess I love Final Fantasy IV, it's my favorite Final Fantasy game ever. Mainly for nostalgia, and I love playing it still. I play it once a year at least. But I did not like this remake so much. I liked the 2D remake. There's because at this time there was only the 3D remake, so I desperately wanted to try it. And it's good. It's just the difficulties ramped up, and I don't like that. But the, the and the characters don't look as cool as the 2D versions. The 2D versions are better, I thought. Still a good game. It's just a lot harder, and I prefer when it came up with a 2D remake, which you can check on Steam, it's on there. I, I love that way better. <laughs> That's all this bag. This is a toiletry bag. I remember I got... I used to go to Florida and stuff, and I'm pack my own stuff, like toothpaste and whatever. So this is the original grade 3 toiletry bag, but there's not toiletries in it right now. At least I hope not. Old multiplier pencil box from Marine Marineland, California. I never went to Marineland, California. I went to the one like to Niagara Falls. I don't think it's there anymore. I have to check and show you guys footage if there's anything. But I used to go to Marineland in my locality, we'll say, Canada. There's still pencils in here. What the heck? Multiplier pencil box. What does this say? It's not even sharpened. Be a designated driver? State Farm? <laughs> this is actually a Board of Education pencil. It's still sharp. This bag? Yes, that bag. That's my bag. Ah, toys. So this, if anyone recognizes, is a cloud car from Empire Strikes Back. And uh, I used to play with this all the time, as you can tell how worn it is. You know, my little kid pretend it was a spaceship, but it can go in every space, even if it was a cloud car. And, uh... <clears throat> yeah, I don't remember where we got this. I think it's just, like, there was a time where my dad happened to get a 
I swear, if I remember this correctly, there was a time he got a whole box of random toys. And some of them were stuff like this, like really cool ones. Like this is metal. And I, unfortunately I spray painted half of it red. I don't know why I did that. Weird. And yeah, this was, that's one. Um, <laughs> Hot Wheel cars. This is a legendary Charlie. Why do I say that? Because when I was a kid, I, I guess I named some of my Hot Wheel cars. And I named this one Charlie for some reason. It's, it's complete, the back wheels are completely stuck and broken. All the paint's peeled off, it says Ford on it. But I love this car for some reason. I used to use this as like my leader car for some reason back when I was a little kid. I still have it. Charlie car. I'm not sure what make and model this car is supposed to be, does it say? The army? Ford Thunderbird. Oh, okay, it's a Ford Thunderbird apparently. Thunderbirds are go. Uh -oh. And a bunch of other cars too, like the Batmobile from the 1989 Batman film. The wheels still work for this one. I used to love this car too. My, that's like my favorite Hot Wheel car for the longest time. You know, Batmobile. Excuse me, have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? The soapstone? I think they got that from Rayland. Kind of pointless looking soapstone. Why? More Hot Wheels. Oh, these are one of the color changing ones. I wonder if it still changes color. I'll have to show some footage of it after and see if... Probably not, it's so old. Ah, oh, the ZZ Top Car. You know, the ZZ Top Hot Wheel Car. I used to like this one too. Made in Malaysia in 1979. And that's what started uh, the Eliminator Coupe, which gained notoriety in the uh, 80s. Thanks to MTV, made uh, the first appearance in Gimme All Your Lovin', then Sharp Dressed Man, finally in Legs, and it's uh, still going strong. Another one where the, where the hood came up for some reason. It was a novelty of this car, the hood came up. You see the engine inside. 1983? Hong Kong? Not Malaysia. Happy New Year, Malaysia. <laughs> Porsche, Porsche, or whatever you want to say. Um, I'm not sure if it's an actual Porsche, just like 1987. But I like this car too. I thought that was pretty cool. <sighs> ah, Lamborghini, another color changing one. Yeah, I think it's stuck being pink forever. 1987, Countach. Transformers toy. I don't know. Uh, might take some footage of me trying to transform it. But, oh my, there's not much to transforming this thing. You just take the head off. I don't know what transformer this was supposed to be though. Let's say. It says something on it, but I can't read it. Munchkin the Monster Cat. Hey, Mystic Knights of Tiernanog. Cue the theme song. So I think it's just a, just a McDonald's toy. It still works. <laughs> so lucky. Can't believe it still works after all this time. There's a little switch on the back, you just roll. And it sparks. Wow. I didn't like the show at all. I just loved this. I mean, I loved and hated the stupid theme song. I used to make fun of it all the time. Mystic Knights to not know. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like how his arm is just going into his back. It just dis disappears into his back. And bubble tape. Anyone ever bubble tape? I used to have this all the freaking time. And if you watch some of my old claymations, which I'll show some clips here, I used it in the background for like props. Because we made these claymations, these specific ones here up north. 
So we didn't bring any toys or anything with us. We had to use whatever we had on us, which was bubble tape rolls, strawberry, and whatever was something. Like, these are the original prop from this claymation you're watching right now. These are the original props still in here. That's so funny. The original props for that claymation are still in here. Wow. That is cool. That's nostalgic for me. Garfield shoelace things. Remember, remember having these? Whatever, for whatever reason, you put these on your shoelaces, to, I guess, to look cool when you're a little little kid. I never actually put them on my shoelaces. I kind of just, like, the mouth is supposed to open. I, you know, I'll show you footage from it. I don't know if I can get the mouth open anymore. He just, he just bites onto a shoelace, and I don't know. This the novelty of it, I guess. I used to have like two or three of these, but I only have one now. Garfield Lazy Cat. And more soapstone. For some reason. Looks like a panda head. I don't know. Or a bear head, I mean. There's no real point. I'm sure it's not worth anything. Useless. A what? A pin or it says Semiconductor Insights Incorporated? Does anyone know what that is? Why do I have this? Because your mother. It looks like Taz. Or it is Taz. No. More props from Claymation, the palm tree that I have no idea where it came from. And this is a Ninja, remember the Ninja, Ninja Turtle toys from the 80s? This is one of the prop shields that like one of the toys came with. I think it was the... Yushim Yushimbo rabbit toy, I think, came with this. I'm gonna put all these back. That's only half the bag. There's more. <laughs> oh! Remember how I said that those, these are the only cards of Star Trek that I had? Oh, I guess I'm wrong. I have several boxes here. Romulan! Ah! What? Ah! I have Barkley. I didn't know I had Barkley. Good. I look forward to your report, Mr. Broccoli. Ah! I used to have enough cards to play a deck, to play a game, but of course, I have no one to play with. No! Ah. My grandma's old domino set. My grandmother unfortunately passed away many years ago. Well over 20 years ago. But when they sold their house, my grandparents sold their house, they... <clears throat> Giving away stuff to people who wanted it and selling everything else, but I took their domino set. And it's almost mint condition except for this weird blue stuff on the one, but I think it's just a stain I could wash off. And uh, yeah, I forget how to play dominoes. I used to know how back then. Again, I'm, I'm probably could easily figure it out today, just haven't bothered. The first player plays one tile from their hand face up in the center of the table. The player to their left must play a tile that matches one end of the tile the first player played. The next player can play a tile off of either end of the chain. Doubles are played perpendicular to the chain. If a tile has a blank side, the blank side can EAT SHIT! This is some sort of... Tr I remember I told you to collect dragon stuff. Well, I guess I still have one of the portraits I used to hang on my wall. Very tiny one. It's like... Sorry, this is it's completely filthy. But it's like sort of psychedelic coloring and metal metallic looking. Yeah, I kept this one, I guess, because it was small enough to fit in this box. Yeah. My old wallets. I have an old Spider-Man wallet. That who knows how old is it? Wait. 19. Oh, this is 1975? I think it's kind of worn off, but. <clears throat> Of course, I, I'm, I'm born in 81, so... Yeah, an old Spider-Man wallet. Nothing in it, I don't think. And a Nintendo wallet. Nintendo, it's, it's all ratted on the, ratty on the back, like it's got stuck to something. 1988. And there's stuff still in here. <laughs> I got hockey playing cards. Tom Barrasso. Mario Lemieux. It's... Some weird random monument pictures from the U.S. Joe Montana. 
Ray Bork. And after 22 years, Raymond Bork is the reality as good as the dream. Uh, no. Another triple score bowling pin thing. Two guys won. It's first ever. Some 1947 World Series psychedelic card. One. Oh. This is to certify I am a member of the Junior J Club. I was? Yes, have some. Oh, there's a dime still in here. Alright, I have a dime. Uh, pfft. Original Asteroids cart, which I know is worth nothing. These are a dime a dozen. But Jesse used to own an, uh, an Atari. And I'm pretty sure because I never did. And I think I took this from him one day when it didn't work anymore and just kept it. I don't remember how I got my hands on this, but... Original Asteroids cart. <laughs> this was so long ago that I have vague, vague rem memories of us playing it for a little bit. Like, well, I used to have a, one of the original Nintendo consoles, before Nintendo, but they made something else, like a Donkey Kong console or something? We used to have one of those. That broke. Oh, I have some ultra clear Typhon 58mm lenses for a camera? I don't know why I have this in here. I don't have a camera like this. For hundreds of years, the island had been carved by people who were challenged and destroyed by the island's energy. Legends say, never approach the island, for a sleeping beast in the darkness waits for a great awakening. A fax machine. Here's your pizza. The pizza is aggressive. Just another day in the life of Jimmy Nutrin.